never thought... You know, when yeah. you get lyrics yeah. wrong, it was knife. I hear it, but as you, you just... I, I actually read the lyrics this morning when we were going to talk about this, and I think I remember thinking, I've never heard this before. I never remember. And it's quite shocking when you read it and now you realise what the lyrics are. But I think I always focused on the chorus and I thought it was just about a kind of a, a unrequited yeah. lover, a jilted yeah. lover. <laughs> Can't say this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm just... A nice thing to sing in the stands. Yeah, uh, yeah. But I also don't think that, you know, men become misogynists because they listen to a song and think, oh, I now want to be a bit of a... Yeah. Angela, what do you think? Uh, mm, I think we've... I agree with Sadie. I think I, you can't... I think officially, officially, let's take another... Like Denise, I didn't know what it said. Now we do know what it says. Mm. Let's sing something else. Um, aren't they, they... You're telling a story as well. So it's storytelling. It's the same as it would be if you're yeah. watching a film or a play and... We can't just suddenly stop talking about these subjects. It's got us talking about it. Yeah. And you can enjoy that as a fictional show without thinking... That song, if you like, but banning it seems... I just wouldn't throw my knickers now, it's a Tom. <laughs> 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 That's what it's led us to. <laughs> Longest-running comic uh, going, but today it's been criticised. Yeah, but then don't you think when it's kids, they're very... I mean, if, if there's a story in there about, you know, having a fight against vile... Veg, then you're going to sit there. And my daughter said, you know, it's this TV programme yeah. that they watch. It's all kind of humorous. Yeah. But it just felt a bit... Just good. So will she eat peas or not? Well, no, she's a bit funny out of that. You've got to give peas a chance. It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have. Um, Sarah, what do you think on this? Yeah, I totally agree. Um, my kids are six and nine, and I think probably only... ...critical than men. Because wow, I think that, you know, women do, I think, invariably, when they get into positions of authority and power, how wonderful that they're taking their jobs so seriously. The, the education movement or somebody who just says, yeah, it'd be right, move on, you know. So I actually that... accept something that's of a slightly substandard. So, I, I you know, I, I just think this is a weird story which seems to be criticising women for doing a great job. Uh, yeah, I... And I, and I do think that that's, that's, that's being for me, not for all men. And the other, my husband is critical, as much as I love him to bits. I mean, he criticises my driving, but I do criticise his driving as well. But, like, when I, when I park up at home, he'll come outside and he'll make sure it's parked straight, you know, and... <laughs> Who's more critical out of you two? Um, I'm probably a little bit more particular. When you talk about standards, yeah, I probably have got slightly high standards. In as much as, you know... Suddenly it's, Ooh, you know, women... Is you know, the, I've worked with men and women, but invariably the most amazing... The people that I've met and I've worked with and I've gone, wow. When you try not to sort of do that horrible gender thing, but certainly the people that absolutely go for it and they're consistent. But there is a place for everyone, isn't there?